All right, y'all, I'm excited for this one. I've been wanting to get back out in this neighborhood for a long time. We did it a few years ago before all the new development. And uh, today, we're gonna be getting you into three houses. That's one of them there. That's the first one we're gonna do. Charles is in there turning on the lights. And then we're gonna get in these other two down the street here. So we've got some different price points for you. And what I want you to see here, all of these homes have their own unique style. And that is what I really like about the new homes they're building here on Water Street in the Lost Rabbit. Now, before we get into the homes, let me tell you a little bit about the town of Lost Rabbit, which is, that's what you'll see. If I, if I come over here real quick to a sign, you'll see it's not the neighborhood, right? It's, it's the town of Lost Rabbit. And that's because it's really set up kind of like it is a town. You've got a, pretty much a town center where you've got a general store, you've got some other businesses and things popping up over there. You've even got some condos right there along the marina. We're tucked right in behind the Natchez Trace, between the Natchez Trace and the reservoir. I describe it as when you're coming in the neighborhood, it just feels like you're going back in time. Beautiful views and there's a big variety. There's houses that were built in the early 2000s before the crash and you know, when they had the real estate crash, it really slowed things down to a halt here. It was a minute before they got going again, but they finally got going again. So you've got a good variety, not just on this street, but in the whole neighborhood of what you can get. But I want to get in this house right here and uh, we're going to check it out and see if Charles has got these lights on yet. Um, but let's get you in these. All right, Charles, you got the lights on in here? Oh boy, you know I do. You're ready to go today? We've been ready. I've been, waiting on, I've been waiting on you. You got, you got, are you ready to go? I've been ready. I had my coffee. All right, let's let's get out here and let's show the front. Let's let's start outside. All right, Charles. So this is the first one up today. What we got for this one? So on this one, we have got. Uh, let's let's just talk about all of them real quick. They're all two-story homes. They all really do not have a yard, but they do have patios. So uh, if you want to be close to your neighbor, this is the neighborhood for you. And I will say this: obviously, there's still some construction going on, and even the houses we're looking at, I would say they're like. They're not, 98 to 99 percent finished. You're yeah, going to see so. some uh, some things, uh, maybe some, uh, cleanliness, uh, uh, some stuff that's like, well, that needs a little paint here and there. These houses are not completely finished, just like Jared said. So don't let that bother you. We're getting in here, showing you what you can get and a different look and different style for area because we don't have this many um, uh, neighborhoods that have this look or uh, this concept at all. Yeah, it's definitely unique. Very unique to our area. But on this one, we've got. As you can tell here, we've got all the windows on the front, lots of windows for all that natural lighting. We actually have a covered front door. The other one has a small covered area and the other one does not have a covered area. So you'll see those in a minute, but let's go check this house out. And as we go through these, y'all, I want y'all to put your comments down below. You gotta get down there. Tell us which one of these is your favorite. And, you know, if there are things in them that you would change, you would like better, that you, that you really like in each one, put that in the comments so we know. So you've got the double front door there. You've got this living space with these hardwood floors. Cool. We, we don't see this often here either. The way they did this fireplace right That's here is really cool. Gas logs. And I don't know for sure, but it is ventless gas logs. So there is no chimney. Uh, and then as you can tell, we got our formal dining area here. Cool design or lighting fixtures right here. This, we, we never know on the, countertops here but i believe this is a quartz countertop uh i noticed that they had mentioned stone countertops but i believe it's quartz i saw oh. one really really similar in another house they called it quartzite quartzite I don't know if that's okay difference or okay not, but when we get into the technicalities we just never know because let's just say it it is what it is right yeah. the communication between builder and and uh realtor are you an expert watching this video on these particular things tell us what do you think this is all right so <laughs> uh one thing i will say here when it comes to the fixtures, the light fixtures and the appliances, you don't get basic stuff here. This is, I mean, there's some style. Oh yeah, there's some uh, for instance, you're getting the microwave. We'll use it. It's the profile, right? Coming over here to okay. your- You went to the microwave, like the least impressive one. Well, it was right there. Well, <laughs> now we're coming to the cool range. This looks commercial grade, right? It's a monogram. So uh, I will say there's, there's monogram, there's Bosch, there's Electrolux. There's a lot of these that are like the higher end. Yeah, Viking. Viking. Oh. Personally, these days, my favorite, at least the style, is these monograms. They just what? I mean, they it's just only the style. Well, well, open the open the oven there. All right, now now close it back. Oh, it is closing. It's a I was soft like closed. it's not doing what you thought so, it was going to do. So look, we don't. We've talked about this in our last video. We just don't get a lot of soft clothes. We don't. We don't guys. When it comes to this stuff, but 
you do get it on your monogram oven. So. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Uh, obviously, we've got our sink here, window looking out to let some more natural light in from over here now. As you can tell, there will be a neighbor with a, a patio right there. So you've got to be okay being close to your neighbors in this neighborhood. Yeah. All right, let's roll on to the uh, patio for this song. Oh, door's locked. No, it wasn't. Door guy actually opens to the outside. So as you can tell here, you got a nice patio here. Uh, area for your TV to go here and cable, all covered with tongue and groove. I do like the fact that we are uh, getting to the point where they always put in these, the outlets and connectors up high so that you can, you're kind of pre-wired for having your TV up there. So that's- I know y'all saw this earlier, but I think this is really nice and cool because like, it has character. I like the curve. contrast. Yeah, the know? contrast and all that island in as well, go, matching with the art, contrasting with the light there. Your guest, bathroom here, half bath downstairs, laundry right across from your primary. What is this? I missed this earlier. It's and an we, office space. We're kind of like exploring these as we go, y'all too, so. We, we try to like pre, pre go through and look. But I, I didn't go all the way into the done. laundry and voila, there's a surprise. You got your drop zone right here, walking out to your two car garage. Now these have back alleyways, so there'll be houses back there eventually. One's already being built and there'll be another one eventually. Obviously they had to do that just because of the, the size of the lots and then, you know, the design of the front. Yeah, all these homes have rear entry garages. I personally prefer, I don't like, you know, I don't, say I don't like it. My preference is not the, uh, you know, that courtyard entrance like we usually have, like we saw in the Kensington video. You don't like that? I don't like it as much. It's normal. I know, it's common around here. It is what it is. <laughs> so, know, step back, step back. back. You got all this natural light coming in right here into your primary. Obviously a neighbor, but you're still able to catch natural light. And then we're going into the ensuite, soaking tub here, vanity, vanity, closet behind us. And then right here, we've got our water closet and our walk-in shower. And so this is, I can't remember the showers on all of them coming up, but this is one of the bigger showers. It is right one of the here. bigger showers. So pretty also, nice shower. also here, we didn't catch this earlier either, Jared. You got a vaulted ceiling, give you some height in here. Makes this space look really big. Yeah, it does feel like a big And then go, coming on into the closet, you got plenty of built-ins here with your drawers, area sit here, hanging rods, all that. So I do like the white and gold. That is one trend. This white and gold looks good. Off. And I don't know if y'all are seeing this in other markets where you're living, uh, but they're mismatching. It the seems like the mismatch has kind of plumbing. become the it's 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 the thing um uh, i have a builder i was representing him like why are we doing this this are we sure he's like that's what the designer said so it's the trend yeah so uh let's get upstairs and show you what you got up there and um while we're going up there just to throw this in these are a little different we well, said this i know a lot of y'all moving here and everybody the comments i get i don't want to be that close to my neighbors okay if that's you leave the comment it's great for engagement but they didn't make these for you. There's plenty of houses where you can get tons of room between you and your neighbors here in Mississippi at this price point. Yes. Now, a very important thing that we did not mention earlier. Walk-in pantry. That's a pretty deep uh, area. Yes, yes. So you need to see that. All right, I let's like go. Having, what I like about that, your mixers, your different things, you know. Can all go right there on space. that, on that right top shelf. So up here, we go straight into bedroom with its own ensuite here. Typical closet. Your other bedroom here, I'm sorry, bathroom. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> That's a tight bedroom, but it's a pretty good bathroom. With another bedroom. And basically this bedroom here and this one at the end of the hall share that bathroom so you do have the double vanity in there and this is your fourth bedroom but if you didn't need it for a fourth bedroom you already got an office downstairs you could turn this into a uh, game room media room children's den uh they got this sloping ceiling over here i told jared i thought it was cool that they added lights over there they only typically do it here so that was pretty cool and then of course you got all the windows looking out across to your neighbors here but this is house number one. We're about to go to house number two. All right, well, I'll tell you what, you uh, work on turning off the lights. 
I'm gonna head on to the next one. While he's taking care of those lights, y'all, I wanna say if you're looking to move to a neighborhood like this or to one where you've got more space or anything else here in the Jackson Metro area and really beyond here in Mississippi, make sure you take down this number. Y'all can call us, text us, email us, break out your megaphone uh, as we have always said here on the channel because it really is just whatever it takes for you to get in touch with us so we can help y'all make that move. Um, we've got a pretty good process. We've helped a lot of people do it and uh, we wanna make that as smooth as possible for you. And uh, now that I've got that out of the way, I'm uh, having a little fun with Charles here. I do this, I come up with ideas for the video and then I'll make him do something. Like, hey, this is the concept. The concept we're about to do is him running down the street to catch up with me. I've already made him do that like twice with the drone. And then we're gonna make him do it again. So I'm not gonna, he's not gonna see this until I put it in the final edit that I actually told y'all what we're doing here. But obviously I have to take multiple shots. I can't fly the drone and shoot this video at the same time. But I mean, we're, gonna, we're not gonna tell him that. We're just gonna make him run down the street anyway. <laughs> All right, he should be about done by now. There he is, come on, hurry up. Oh man. Hey, I really, I really do like this house. Let's go in. Did you, did you already show them the outside? No, I hadn't. Had, well, not really. I mean, they've seen well, it. That's, but, what I, that's what I'm talking about. I really like the outside of this house. When I'm kind of giving you my opinion, you know, when I'm rating them, I like this one the best. So this is this is Charles's favorite exterior. I exterior. Definitely, I definitely like it better than the first on the outside. Curb appeal, my opinion. What's your opinion? Y'all let us know, but let's Well, I like, let's, let's I, like the, I like the black windows. I like the, uh, the gable there. Uh, the way the front door looks on this one. I don't know. This is, it's almost a toss up to be my favorite, but. But this is what I was talking about compared to the first one. It's, it's covered, but not much. Yeah, where the other one actually had a covered front porch. You don't get a lot, but you do have a patio. You'll see. All right. So this one, as you walk, as we walk in, you can tell it just feels a lot wider the way this floor plan is laid out. So in my opinion, this living area is bigger than the last house we were in. You got that cool looking fireplace mantle. This, I don't know if this is gonna be gas or electric. See how narrow it is and long? Uh, I'm gonna say it's gas. I'm gonna say it's because of that right there. That feels like a like a metal screen. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna say possibly gas on that one. But it, what, I'm just gonna say it. It gives it that modern look mm -hmm. and it's gonna be really cool. We just, we're not used to seeing that here. So <laughs> that, that it does stand out for me. Now, one of my favorite things in this house is just the whole kitchen, the contrast, the dark and gold. I like that. Now, question. Remember how we talk about me and color, right? Is that gray, green, or black? Um, you know, it's kind of like a dark gray. Maybe, maybe it has like a, a just a subtle hint of a dark green in it, but it's mostly gray. I can see all three. Uh -huh. I really see green and gray though. Yeah, it's it's mostly a dark gray. Same thing up there. Um, it really goes well with that gold, mm -hmm. um, and that's a different kind of. Uh, that is a totally to different vena hood uh look there for us here yeah that's just the way that's it's almost just like it's raw metal just bent around there hey. um it could be copper or copper or uh, we got gas. that commercial grade vena hood here uh, and like jared said going back to these cool uh commercial looking grade ranges this now, is actually a box now here we got the box let's see if it does it i i personally it doesn't it do, does okay. do it i like the i still like the monogram I'll, I, will, I don't hate the Bosch. The Bosch looks great. I will say the, the monogram door was definitely heavier uh -huh. than this one. Uh, six burner uh, gas cooktop again. And then, you know, I, was, if, I guess if I was looking here, I'd have seen it. Here's black. Yeah. Obviously, this isn't black. Yeah. It's right? a true black comparison. There you go. What I do like what they did with this island. One, it's big, but they give you a plug in on either side. You won't normally catch that. So people are using this space to do things and there's nowhere to plug up anything. Mm -hmm. So you so got you the space. On one side, but not always on. Yeah. Well, this one's got it on the other right here, too. Uh -huh. So it's on both sides. So plenty of counter space in this kitchen. Then you have this extra uh, counter space here where you could do a coffee, a uh, coffee pot or a, a Keurig. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you'd Everything. mix over here. I'd probably mix over here. But just like the other one, you've got a pantry. And oh, this yeah. one even bigger. Now we've jumped up in price point a little bit. And you got cabinets, top and cabinets. bottom. You can store some of those countertop things in here. Your microwave, microwave. in here. So uh, I actually like the microwave over there because it makes this, in my opinion, look cleaner. So here's the thing. I know a lot of times people don't like you put the microwave out here because then little kids can get into it, right? Mm -hmm. But if you have a little bit older kid, maybe they can be trusted with it. It is nice that it is a little lower and what they've done here 
by putting it in there, you close can restrict door. it you close that from door. the little, little kids, but you know, little older kids can get in there and use mm -hmm. it. So, so mm -hmm. I, I, I like that. And then you have the breakfast area here. Uh, you can put the stools underneath if you like. And then we have our dining area. I like floor plans with one dining area because it gives you more ample space in the other areas. So obviously big window looking out front. Well, that's that window I was talking about earlier. And that's then you've a, got this counter space and shelving here as well. Interesting fixture. Is that supposed to be that way or are these supposed yeah, to Yeah, it's made like that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it. Huh. I like it. I like I like the the that mixing those uh, uh, the hardware again, right? Uh -huh. You got. That is black, right? It is black. And, and gold. <laughs> uh, so, and then uh, I was seeing here, the window is white versus black on the outside. I, I, I didn't notice this earlier. See things you notice when you come back through and you start talking about a home? This window here and all those windows looking onto that patio behind Jared. Something I also didn't notice the first time is how they carried the countertops up on the backsplash. Do you notice that? Yes. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I do like that. Uh, there's those windows, Jared, did you show them? Yeah. I mean, you gotta love all these windows, especially in here. You know, right here, you're getting the you're getting the natural light, but you're not getting the direct sunlight through these that's gonna be pouring in, heating you up in the summer. That's correct. That's correct. So, so this patio is bigger than the other one. I cannot remember if it's bigger than the last one though. We'll just have to wait and see. But this one is bigger than the I'd other. Say it's a little bigger than. What's well, bigger than the first one we went to? Uh, oh, yeah. for sure, bigger yeah, than we'll, the first. We'll one. see when we get to uh, the, the, for sure. the we'll final see about one. the uh, the the next one, which will be our last one. Which spoiler alert? It's that one right there. Yeah, but, uh, that's right here, <laughs> right here. Uh, once again, got the tongue and groove here. We've got the hardwood floors, which are running throughout all these homes. You've got a guest bathroom here, and there we are with another countertop. What did what did we think this is, Jared? What was it I called? I cannot remember the name for that. Some kind of stone something but i don't know. i think it's a granite but to, once again i'll hold us to that but i think it's a granite uh guest bedroom here nice size laundry area and then we've got the primary so as you can tell it's a good size got that modern looking fan coming on into the ensuite you've got his and her vanities Soaking tub, nice size shower, but it is not as big as that other one. Yeah, I think it, but it's still a nice size. It's close. It's close to that that first one. Um, it's yeah, it's plenty of room in there, and I like this. I like that you have a lot of separation here. And what they went with here too on the cabinetry in here, they they kind of went with a more modern look. Um, and then you got all the nice mirrors. You got the light fixture above that soaking tub. And check out this tile right here on the wall right here. Uh -huh. Can you extra, see it? A little extra detail there. Yeah. Yeah. Get a close up of that. Oh, there's our, our neighbor again. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute from that side. Uh, water closet here, and then check out this closet. It is long. It's got plenty of hanging rods here. You got the built-ins. There's there's realtors out got there. The that do a, here. There's there's huh? realtors out there that would do a 40 yard dash down this hallway. Did you oh. <laughs> like that? All right. I told you I was gonna make it run some more. All right, here we got some storage. Did you get it? Yeah, we got it. And we have our two car garage. You know one thing we failed to mention? What's that? These homes actually have irrigation. Oh, they do? For the yards, yeah. yeah well, irrigation. I think, I, think I saw the other one. I didn't look in that, in that, in that garage. So we always have to watch what we say, right? We'll have to let you know in the comments about the other one. Yeah. Well, you know, it probably is there because there's not that much yard that you have to worry about. Which if you <laughs> don't want a lot of work, yard to have to worry about, you just got a little bitty strip and I guess you can keep it green because you got irrigation. So this one has got a space where you could put a TV here. You got this cool looking wall right here with the trim right here. But you could do a little setup right here. Then you have a, I'm sorry, I'm breathing hard from doing that 40 yard dash. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a bedroom here, a walk-in closet. Check out this tile too. I do like the tile. Mm -hmm. I do like it, breaking it up like that. Well, this in particular, they always do some kind of different tile. This is kind of like that really old school, like... Yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking. Something we'd see in Bellhaven and Fondren and Jackson. Right, yeah. Uh, of course, you got your own vanity there. Bathroom area, tub, shower, the other vanity for the other bedroom. 
Now this bedroom doesn't have a walk-in closet, but it's perfectly, perfectly good size. And then over here, you could make this an office. It does give you access to an attic area there. I'm gonna call this an office, but I wonder. I, I it could be an office. It, you could do so many little things with this space. My one concern is how warm is it gonna get being right next to the, I mean, right next to that door. I mean, I got a vent right there. That's true. I mean, now when I open up that door, I feel the heat come in. Uh-huh. But you do have a vent. It's not a very big room. And now something I hadn't mentioned, uh, did you notice all the doors are eight foot? Yeah, they are tall doors. Mm -hmm. And in most of these homes, they're putting lots of windows in to get all that natural light to come and, in. And I think all of these too, these aren't hollow doors. These are no, those those are real, uh, wood, real wood doors. Yes, yes, that's a huge plus. On to the next. All right, so we're getting up to the last one, y'all. And um, this one is the most expensive one, and it's got some things that the other ones do not have. And I like look look up here. I can pan the camera up, gets a little shaky, but I like how they did the roof on this one. It just gives it, to me, a unique look. It looks a lot bigger than it is, too, with that, with the roof, you know, the, the pitch and all right there as well. Now, this one obviously is the one that I was talking about that really didn't have a cover for the door. But like Jarrett said, it's the most expensive one, too. You also have, I'm going to say now that we're over here, we'll see when we actually get up there. That patio is about the same size. It might be a little bigger than uh, your neighbor right where we just were. So as we walk into this one, you've got your living, dining, and kitchen is all set to the right. So the kitchen is a little bit hidden as you come into the uh, front door, which some people like that because the, the I guess the biggest thing we hear about the open floor plans is like, I always have to keep my kitchen clean because everybody can see it when they walk in. Well, with this one, you got to really get to here to see the kitchen. Now I would say this one has some of the biggest style differences because now you got the darker wood floors. Yes, darker wood floors. Mm -hmm. The formal dining here but when you turn around and look back to the front door i like that right there going up the stairs like that the uh the the railing rails yeah. it's it's really cool with the, the lines and difference and then right here you got that tongue and groove that you know this is coming back in style yeah so this is probably my i mean i like this i like this look i've seen it on some really really high-end houses mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. where you're doing that so this is probably my favorite island at least and this one's going to be the most modern with what they were doing with like this look here, more modern. And the cabinet the, too, how the, it's, you yes, get that, that the straight edge. The clean, one. straight lines here. Uh, this one's got, it's, the, it's the Bosch. It's the Bosch again. So we got the Bosch again. This time they did do some tile on the countertop, I mean on the uh, backsplash. Mm -hmm. I do like the uh, hexagonal. And this, you know, Jared, is this, is this black? Yes, that is black. This so black and gold, I really like. Yeah, I really like the black and gold together. And I like that you got that to contrast the white and gold mm -hmm. on everything else. And then this this is a little different light fixture. The way it, you're like, it needs a bulb. Yeah, but the, the, the bulbs are shining The bulbs up. are there. Yeah, for sure. So then you come down through here, you'd have a refrigerator. You've got these glass doors here. So you can put uh, some, uh, I guess, china, if you will. Yeah. And then... I'm, gonna, I'm kind of going off here, but you got an office space here. Pantry, and as you guys know, microwave in there. So see, that seems like a common thing. And I love that you all, all of these at least have the pantry with the shelves. Cause I mean, you what when you have the open floor point and you have all the stuff on the counter, it just, you, it's always gonna look a little cluttered. But if you can put it in here. You can hide it in here and close that door. Uh -huh. And this one, it's actually got the countertop like in the kitchen, not the wooden one like mm, the last house. That's true. So that's a... Those are that, deeper countertops too. Mm -hmm, a little bit Deeper. Plug in here on this end of the island. Let's see if this one's got it. Yep, plug in here. So they did it great through here. Uh -huh. But we didn't really talk much about this while we were in here. This living area is a good size. Good size area. Mm -hmm. I was telling Jared earlier, this is kind of off from that spot over there. So you could put a, a chair and some... Uh, uh, Oh heck, what's the stool called? Oh, an ottoman? An ottoman. So this area here is a little off from the living, but you, you could put a chair here with an ottoman and kind of create a little, maybe a reading area there. Yeah. Whatever you like. And uh, going on to this patio, this patio is longer. And the ceilings are higher. That's ceilings true. are taller, but I do like the other one better. I, I like the so. way, I like the, 
dimensions of the other one better because it was wide. And it's a little more private. You know, this one gets a little more light, but um, I, yeah, I like that one because it's a little more private. I don't know if you could do it. And they maybe they are, we don't know. But I don't think they are because of the landscape in here. You could put a entrance right here just coming onto the patio. Well, you could put an entrance or you could put some kind of wood, kind of like they've got the shutters over there or not shutters. Yeah, but, you know, the louvers. There, 105, the louvers, that's the word. Yeah, the louvers. You could put something like that. You don't even have to go all the way up. You could go like halfway up. Yeah, yeah. And from here, sitting right here, yeah, you can. You know, you know how they do in real estate. Yeah. There's a, there's a view, right? Water well, view. You're looking at a view there today. If I zoom, look, there is your water view. Now, with all that being said, if stuff gets built up by lots, you lose that view. You may lose. That is true. <laughs> all right, let's get on back here to your guest bathroom and primary. So, guest bathroom here. But what I do like about it. Got that designer light fixture, but you got this tile going all the way up. That is interesting. And I do I like, like that too with that. That seen, looks really nice. I have not seen them do a tile wall like that. Drop zone wise, I like this one the best. Oh yeah, this is this so, might be the best drop. You got the bench here, you got your hooks here, but you got your cabinets that you can open up. I think you should put hooks in here too. So if you were sitting here, you still have a place to hook if you want to hide some things so it's not so cluttered. Kind of like the pantry you were talking about earlier. I like these, and you know, I wish I wish more were like because these are actually really almost flush here. Yes, I yes. Like that look. It gives it more of that true modern with those clean lines. That's the one thing I was telling Jared. I wish they'd have done that in the kitchen because it'd just give it a more modern look. You still, I mean, it still looks very really good. Still yeah, this modern, looks great. But this, I, I really like the drop zone here. And then this one gives you two car garage. Let's see if there's room behind. And this is more or less a little shop area, storage area, or golf cart. You could fit there. I mean, where the other ones didn't have that. Be a, uh, I mean, you're in the neighborhood where you can ride around on a golf cart. Oh. And this one also had rainbow irrigation. There you go. So I'm pretty sure the other one did too. Hashtag confirmed. <laughs> Got a nice size laundry here with the sink behind that door. I don't know if we pointed out the others having a sink or not, but man, just not having the sink in the laundry. You don't you don't use it a lot, but when you want to use it, it's, it's great. Really nice to have it in there. Once again, a nice size primary, and then we've got this cool ensuite. So you got the soaking tub, you got the double vanities, you got those clean lines again. Same thing as the kitchen. I would like it if they would put it a little closer together, get it more modern. But it, for us, that's this is modern. You got your window here, looking into your neighbor's window that I was talking about earlier. If you were paying attention where we just were a little different picture up here above the uh above the tub I, I like it I do like that uh and then the, obviously this whole wall is tile right so, here like, and these are it's a big tile yes that's that <laughs> that is long tile uh -huh. for sure and then you walk in and and this one has the smallest shower but it's still a good size uh, well, I don't. you got tile on the ceiling you got the, what is this called well, there's no lip here. Uh, like a zero entry kind Z of? It's zero entry. They've got a spot there so water couldn't back out of it uh, uh, from splat splashing and stuff. So I've been in some really nice ones and it's this glossy tile like this, both on the wall or not maybe on the wall, but on the floor coming out of the shower. And um, that just seems like that would be a hazard. So I like that you have the more uh, matte oh, yeah. finish to the tiles on the floor. Well, 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 here it's the same down there as well. Uh -huh. So you, what I'm saying is that when but you step yeah. out, you're not going to slip on that slick yeah. tile. Because this looks nice, but it might get a little slippery. Uh -huh. And then, uh, and then I was pointing out, the, out this to Jared, pointing this out to Jared earlier. You got the mirrors here, which I, I think actually looks great the way they did it. The whole wall. It's just kind of a throwback design, you know. You yes. can see that a lot. You, you well, lower houses, but like everything, everything comes back. It's full circle. Uh huh. Right. Uh, once again, you got a nice size faucet here. You got your built-ins. They got to put a little piece here, but we'll take care of that. I really like you got that big. Yeah, this that. this one is um, this one is wider, I believe. I think I think the 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 middle house where we just were, it might have a little bit bigger closet altogether, but mm -hmm. I probably would pick this one just because you've got more width. More. Personally. Gotcha. For more, you're telling me you have a lot of shoes. Well. I've got, you know, I, I got my sneaker game is, is, is not bad, you know, but I'm the minimalist, <laughs> but uh, Jenny, Jenny's, Jenny's got a lot of shoes. So yeah, we, we do have some shoes. All right. And let's head upstairs and we'll be done with our three houses until we get you that information. You yeah, got to reveal for. all the, uh, the pricing info and tell y'all what you're actually looking at to get in here. 
Let's uh, try with some speed ramp and zip up these stairs. So this is the wall. Like when we walked up, it's pretty cool looking. I mean, it's that it was, was my line. Like that was my line. Right, this was on. a cool. Let's back down. Now guys, this is actually a pretty cool wall. I mean, you just don't see this unless it's a custom built home in this market. But it gives it just it's just a totally different look. Obviously, you can put uh, furniture here, have a TV on this wall as well. You got your guest bathroom here with double vanities, and then the water closet has the toilet and the shower tub combo. Got a bedroom on the front here. Lots of natural light, and come here, come here, check this out. You got the big water view right there. Once again, you probably keep that one. I, I don't think you will. See where that trailer is down there? Yeah, well, I think you might keep some. Well, there's a, that's a lot we're looking through in front of that trailer, what I'm saying. You'll lose it. There might be a peak of it. I think you got a better shot of keeping some oh, of it. I just noticed something. Oh, uh, look at that. Some, some somebody mirror. wrote mirror right there. I don't I don't know if that's going to happen, but they wrote mirror on both of the so, doors. So don't hold them to the, the pencil on there, but <laughs> they could be put the mirror. And then we got this guest bedroom here. And it's got mirrors on those doors as well, written right here. These are the small things we were telling you about that if you notice, these homes aren't completely finished. Uh -huh. So uh, they will come in and tidy them up, clean them up, and take care of these little things uh, when it's ready to actually close. Yeah, you know, and they do that on a lot of new construction stuff. Um, Your other don't yes, don't finish it until it's completely done. And that is it on this house. And uh, there's a whole lot more we could talk about in Lost Rabbit. The new there development is. here. This the, this is the town center area here, with the marina yeah. right next to it. And if I and if I pan around, you there's got, the reservoir. Got the reservoir and the pool over there. What I like to call the big water. The big water is right here. You can get water from home. Yes. In Lost, Ra Lost yeah. Rabbit too. Not. I don't know if they're building new ones on the water right. Uh, now. They are on the other side of Lost Rabbit, which is probably one of our older videos. Uh -huh. a, a majority of those over there that back up to the water are custom built homes right yeah. now. You get a lot of different variations of the architecture too. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's just like on Water Street. I think they kind of carried the, the theme of Lost Rabbit. You, you get variation all through the neighborhood. But let's 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 stop delaying. Let's talk about the specs and the and really the prices. What are we looking at on these houses? All right. So I had to take notes here because these prices are not just your typical prices. They're they're very particular with the numbers here. All right. So house number one was six hundred twenty thousand eight hundred eighty dollars. It's a four two and a half, and it's at twenty five eighty seven square feet. Now, house number two, remember the one I was telling you that I really like the outside of that one the best? That one's 675, 2,813 square feet, and it was a 4.3. This only one of this is actually a 4.3. I'm trying to think when we went through there if there was a half bath. I guess there wasn't. I guess it was just a 4.3 is how it was listed. No, it had a half bath, didn't so, it? I don't no, it was a 4.3. It didn't have a half bath. It was it was a guest bathroom there in the hallway. Sure was. But it, yeah, we had on the house as a 4.3. I just couldn't remember that. It's the, I think it's the... Uh, I don't know, you got me second guessing myself now. Anyhow, we went through a lot, right? Oh, so we can't even watch. remember. Go back and watch <laughs> And then our uh, last well, one. Well, before we get on, that one, they actually had, I, now I will say on all these, they've kind of indicated that with good offers, they might be willing to do some rate buy downs and things like oh. that. But that one actually had listed a $10,000 incentive that you could use for a rate buy down. Maybe. Rate buy down, uh, closing cost. Uh, maybe doing some add-ons to the house. Usually they open it up to whatever. Yep. Uh, obviously that would be something that could be negotiated in one of the uh, offers or contracts. And then for our last one, our the most big one. expensive one, it's our the biggest, biggest one. one. It's got the three bay, not a full three car garage, but they have three bays. I would call it a two and a half garage, right? Pretty much. There you go. All right. So I'm going to tease you here a little bit. That one was four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,851 square feet. That one is listed at $684,424. See what I meant about they're rarely particular with that number? <laughs> we got we're down to the dollar <laughs> on all these prices, except for the middle one. The middle one was. The middle one's easy, 675. Even. 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 But uh, but yeah, so basically 620 to, what was the last one, 680? Basically, let's round it up to 684. So 620 five. to 685 roughly is the price range that you saw in there on those houses. So let us know again, which one was your favorite? What did you like, not like? in all of those and uh most importantly let us know if you want to buy one of them or if you want to move somewhere like a neighborhood like this that's or if right help you find somewhere else and look y'all you see the sky here you see this we we fin are fishing up just in time the raindrops are falling yes so uh, it's time for us to go get some so lunch windy. um y'all check out the other video about we, we did about lost rabbit it'll still be relevant and uh, we'll be doing more so uh stay tuned and uh, we'll see you on the next one